Okay, so this week is going to be just pretty um, straightforward. Being thrown that curveball after I started one way to plan, then thrown the curveball of you need to do the Mediterranean diet. This was like a last-ditch effort just to do what I could, having researched what I researched, not looking up a bunch of recipes um, and all that. The one thing, I had already looked up two recipes that I was going to do for low-carb that actually will work with the Mediterranean, so I left those. So, pretty much, this is stuff I have on hand except for all of the <laughs> fresh vegetables, obviously. So, let's just look. Since Mediterranean is low on the meat, we're going to have my spaghetti, but we're going to do meatless, which it's not like I didn't grow up eating meatless spaghetti, because I did. So, that... I do like beef in it, obviously. I like meat sauce, but that's not a game changer for me. As long as I can have my spaghetti, I'm cool. So yesterday I made a, a crock pot full of the Zero Point Marinara, so I have it ready all, all ready for today. And then I'm going to use whole wheat pasta. A cup of the pasta is five points, and obviously the sauce is zero. For Saturday, we had, I was going to put it out. But there's some English muffins that have been up in that cabinet. And they're still good. I can't believe it. But um, that we just stopped eating. And then we went low carb. We didn't eat them. And I thought, well, I got the marinara sauce made. I still have some cheese in the fridge. We'll just make some English muffin pizzas. David just bought him some pepperoni. So I'll eat mine just cheese. But I figured that's what we'll do Saturday. Then Sunday, I have some beef country ribs in the freezer. I thought I would just throw them in the crock pot since it is um, prep day. Four ounces of that is 11 points. That's pretty doggone high for, <laughs> for some beef, but I guess it's just that cut. Um, the baked potato, I have four little potatoes left over here from the other week, um, Thanksgiving. And I don't really know what size they are, so I just picked the size out of the tracker for five points, and that's six ounces of a baked potato. And then asparagus, which I'm going to do in the oven. Monday, just plain old pinto beans, greens, and some yellow squash that I'm just going to do on top of the stove in the pan, not in the oven, because um, it's not like fried fried squash, but it's, well, it's just in the pan. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way we've always done it when we don't deep fry it. Then Tuesday, um, I had already wanted to make the crock pot cashew chicken. So that's going to be our one chicken day. I got some nuts in there. So it, it just, it just is going to be what it is until I can figure out how to go perfectly Mediterranean, which the odds are 99.9% .9 chance that it's not going to be 100% clean mediterranean diet because i just don't think i have it in me and then some brown rice well the, the cashew chicken eight points and then the uh brown rice three quarters of a cup is five points and then some okra wednesday's gonna be fish now i have ordered some i think cod for david and some salmon for me and i'm just getting it frozen because I can't afford fresh salmon. I don't like it that much. And then, I mean, I'm eating it because, you know, I should be eating it. I like salmon patties <laughs> from a can. So I'm not going to the, the full expense of fresh salmon. I'm just going to go frozen and, and just be done with it. So we're having fish on Wednesday with some um, baked sweet potatoes. Four ounces of a sweet potato is four points. So... I got room to go higher up if, if I want to because fish and green beans are zero. Then Thursday, I still have some boneless pork chops in the freezer. Four ounces of that is three points. And then broccoli and navy beans. So that is it for the dinners this week. Like I said, straightforward. Now prep, here we go with a bunch of new stuff again. I've been getting lucky, so I'm keeping my fingers. My fingers are crossed. Now, the oatmeals are going to be high, but, you know, it's just that's how it works out. This is a recipe for chocolate coconut almond overnight oatmeal. And then I'm going to do my own spin. I'm going to do three of those. 
And I'm going to do my own spin with pumpkin pistachio because I'm pretty sure I have some a little bit of pumpkin left in the refrigerator that I need to use. And I have some pistachio, so that gives me more nuts. And I'm just going to base it off that recipe, but just put my own little spin on it. So that's going to be an experiment too. So both of those are eight points. And then I was already going to make this quinoa chili on my low carb, and it, it fits for this. So I'm going to go ahead and make it, and it is six points per serving. I've actually had quinoa chili before. Instead of um, meat, you use the quinoa. My daughter made it for me, and um, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So when I found that recipe, I thought, well, that's a good thing to try. And then I'm just going to serve that with some avocado and yogurt on top. So that is it for my first Mediterranean I, I guess it's Mediterranean. It's as Mediterranean as it's going to get this week. <laughs> Put it that way. I, I think it looks pretty good, though, for um, such short notice. All right, coming up next will be the grocery hauls. Okay, so our first haul is Walmart. I saved my produce and my whole big old one meat <laughs> for a Harris Teeter. So for Walmart, we just got the, the usual stuff. Um, eggs, of course. Now, I went back to my liquid coffee mate because the powder that I had just started using, one of the things on the Mediterranean diet, it, it tells you, which it was probably not good for me anyway, but still, I didn't care. <laughs> I liked it, and it was saving me money. Watch out for those, um, oh, not the trans fats, the um, hydrogenated oils. Well, it had some of that stuff in there, so I figured, well, I'll just go back. I'll just go back. And um, then almond milk, which y'all know I like it anyway, and it has potassium in it, so that makes it extra um, good. And then David's juice, of course, and some vegetable oil spray. This ketchup back here, you know, I always have to have one on reserve. I ordered just the regular size, and they substituted this big old 38, <laughs> this big old 38 ounce bottle, so I think we're good to go on that. And then they substituted the Hunt's tomato sauce for their um, Great Value brand, too. And then, speaking of brand, back there's his raisin brand. And then, of course, my coffee. This coconut water is because it is really good for potassium. I was reading, it didn't have the, I got the one with no sugar. It's just organic coconut water. That's all it has because a lot of them you have to be careful and watch because they have sugar in them and you don't want that one. But it didn't have the nutritional facts on the website, on the app, but I knew if it didn't have sugar in it, it would be fine. So one can has 10% of your daily um, needs of potassium. So I thought that would be something really good to have to add in with my potassium-rich foods that I'm trying to sprinkle in during the week. Um can of black beans that's for my meal prep i don't necessarily like black beans but i'm gonna mix it up <laughs> i needed some paprika and ground mustard i'm gonna tell you what that stuff's not cheap that was the cheapest one i could find was the great value brand and then these are the avocado minis it's not gu gu guacamole we just eat the avocado david's favorite one is um i can't remember the name of it but they get it at food line and that's the only place he can find that one. But I found this brand, the Holy Avocado, at um, Walmart's. And I thought, well, I'll eat it. And then he can try it and see if he likes it. Because you get a little couple more and it's a little bit cheaper. Not much, but I also got some regular avocados, which I was going to get them at Harris Teeter with my other produce. And I was going to get a bag just like this. And I know that you just take your chances if they come in a bag, or even if they hand pick them, it doesn't matter what store you get them from, you take your chances. So I figured I would just pay less and take my chances for less money. <laughs> and so, see, we have those little cups to eat while these are ripening up. And then he wanted um, some ham this week, so that's his favorite, Frank Coyer. And then I needed more butter. We were out of that after all the butter I used on Thanksgiving. <laughs> We needed some more butter in the refrigerator. And then, of course, his yogurt's over there. Let's see. He's over here listening, so I'll tell him what he got. He got butter, crunch, blast, banana cream pie, 
cherry chocolate strawberry cheesecake. They had to substitute that one for something, I think, for his peach. Peach is always out. Um, cookie dough and cookies and cream. And then corn is not a whole grain, but I'm going to draw the line somewhere. My little recipe I'm making for meal prep has a little bit of corn in it, and it's not going to be enough that's going to be like I'm eating a candy bar, so deal with it, Mediterranean. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. And here is the fish I told you on the menu plan that I got. I got these little salmon fillets for me and the um, cod fillets for David. And then his whole wheat bread, which if I think I need a piece of whole wheat bread, I'll just eat one of his. I'm not going to buy a loaf of bread because I don't want a loaf of bread around, even if it is on my diet. And it is whole grain or whole wheat. I don't want a whole loaf to myself because that's just more calories that I'll tend to eat if it's there. So then a couple non-food items. So the next thing coming up will be Harris Teeter. Okay, so here is Harris Teeter. I guess you would call this the Mediterranean part of the <laughs> shopping trip because you can see it is all fruits and vegetables. We're going to get to this chicken last. There's a special little story about that there chicken. So what we got for this week for the fresh fruits and vegetables, we got some apples. These are some gala apples. And they actually had my green leaf lettuce in stock. They don't always have it. It's washed and ready to go. And this will last forever. You just pull your few little leaves out there put in a bowl and you have a salad but this lasts forever flair likes this kind too and then bananas good potassium i actually wanted to add on an eight ounce mushroom but i got a four ounce so i was going to add that to my as a last minute thought to my spaghetti tonight and i wanted collard greens but they were out so i got this i told her mustard greens was fine so i ordered two pounds that's a lot of mustard greens, but you know what? They cook down, so I'm going to go ahead and probably cook them down today because they'll take up a whole lot less room in the fridge, and then they'll warm up really nicely. And looky there, we got asparagus and a cucumber for our salads. And I just ordered three sweet potatoes instead of a whole bag. I don't know what that looks like and watermelon if you can see it back here i got a little mini watermelon for me because it is really good in potassium and then they had their cantaloupes on sale and david he's all about the cantaloupe and then the yellow squash actually a good size this week for what i needed it actually turned out it worked out and one lime is for meal prep i'm pretty sure and some blackberries and raspberries those are all um really good fiber um, for your cholesterol those are now let me show you something let me show you this piece of chicken let me see if i can get up here if y'all can see can you see that price do you see how many chicken breasts are in there two chicken breasts for 22 dollars and 66 cents well they always call you and say well i had everything or i didn't have this she didn't have the organic chicken that I ordered that was on sale. She said, I don't have any organic chickens. Well, she told me. I said, oh. I said, oh, I don't really like regular chicken anymore. I said, it's just a weird thing I'm going through. I said, but I'll take it. I said, I need my chicken. So go ahead. Just regular chicken will be fine. Well, we get home. I open this up. And, and the first thing I noticed was organic. I'm like, well, she said she didn't have organic. And I knew as soon as I saw in this package and without even uncovering this i knew and when i opened that up 22 dollars no i went straight over there got on the phone told that little girl i said there's no way can we ever pay 22 dollars for two chicken breasts i said so i don't really know what you want to do about it she goes well let me get her on the phone <laughs> she tries to tell me well i told you i had other organic breasts and you said that was fine i'm I just let her, I just let her, whatever, was not worth the argument because I know what she said. But she said she would comp it. I said, well, I don't even mind paying what I was going to pay just for the regular um, organic. I don't mind paying. She goes, no, no, we'll comp the whole thing. So we're eating $22 worth of chicken breast for free <laughs> because there's no way under the shining sun would me and Mr. Manus pay $22 for two chicken breasts 
we had steaks last week cheaper than that. So anyway, that was my <laughs> that was my little fun episode today. So there you have my fruits and vegetables for the week. I think I did pretty good. Um, trying to get on board with this whole Mediterranean thing. So that's it for me for this week. And the next time I see you will probably be talking about what I've been eating.